Hey there YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Alex Hubbard. I am a senior systems administrator with over 15 years of experience in the IT industry. Today we are taking a look at installing Ubiquiti's Unify controller on Ubuntu 18.04. Uh, let's jump over to our VMware console here. And before we get started, the very first thing we are gonna do is I am gonna take a snapshot of this machine. It's a great uh, habit to get into. Uh, when, especially when you're starting out, because if you goof something up, you can revert very quickly. So we'll take a snapshot and we'll call it Unify Lab. We'll take a snapshot here. And when this finishes up down at the bottom, we'll be able to start our lab. While this is finishing, um, I've been running Unify on Windows for a long time, ever since, it, since I first started getting into uh, Ubiquity products. I've found the controller application on Windows can be buggy at times. It's much better now that it's, uh, you know, a little more, it's more of a stable uh, platform. Uh, but I recently, maybe six to eight months ago, made the switch over to Ubuntu for uh, several purposes. A, I'm trying to teach myself more Linux because I'm pretty much a, a sole, uh, you know, a sole Windows admin. And um, I have found the Unify controller is much more stable on, uh, on Ubuntu. So let's jump back over here and let's get into our console. And we should be able to log in here. There we go. The first thing we're gonna do, since this is a brand new VM, uh, we're gonna give it a static IP. So come up here to uh, this little network icon, go to wired connected and wired settings. Uh, this way, you know, if you change your this way, when, you're, you're, when you do adopt uh, stuff into Unify Controller, it's always got the same IP. It keeps things, uh, you know, it keeps things static. It's got a static IP. It doesn't change. So when your uh, equipment is looking for the controller, it doesn't, it doesn't change. So that's why we're, that's why we're doing it this way. Uh, click on the gear here. And we're going to go to the IPv4 tab. And you can see the DNS is already pointed at our domain controllers. Um, that's because I was in here playing with this earlier. Um, you can go to manual, and the IP we're going to give it is 10.10.30.253, and the mat, it's a slash 24, so we'll give it a 255.255.255.0, and the gateway is going to be 10.10.30.1, which is our uh, PFSense firewall. So click OK or apply. We can close out of this. And let's open up Firefox and let's just take a look and make sure we can go online. We should be able to, no problem. Just check out Reddit real quick. And cool, we can pull that in. So let's close this out. We'll come back here in a minute. Uh, I do have some notes here on some commands that I've copied into here already so I don't have to type them out. Uh, I got these from the Ubiquities, uh, Ubiquity tutorial or installation uh, notes. So the first thing we need to do is open up a terminal window. And we've got some prerequisites we have to install. So these guys right here, the step one. So let's copy this command here. Um, it's going to install the CA certificates and the HTTPS transport role. Um, let's go over here, paste that in. It will ask you for your password. That's fine. This will take a second. I mean, you pretty much have these four or five steps here, and then you can uh, set up your you can set up your your controller. There we go. All right. Now we've got to add the source list here. So copy this. If you can copy and paste commands, it makes things much easier. Um, there we go. This step three is only required if you're running Ubuntu 18.04, which I am. So we're going to copy this command. There we go. This too will take a second. And we've got to add the key. And then we can uh, install. All right, let's add our key. Then we can install Unify and set up the controller. So it's really a very easy process uh, to get this done. There we go. And now the fun part. So this command will install Unify. There we go. 
Now this does take a couple of minutes to uh, actually install the controller. Once this is installed, we'll open up Firefox, we'll navigate to localhost using port 8443, and we'll go through the basic config of the controller. Now I don't have anything um, in my lab network that we can join to the controller right now. I'll have to reprovision re some of my other equipment um, and see if we can do another video at a later date. I do have some other videos planned uh, showing how to set up radius and uh, different SSIDs with VLAN or using different VLANs on our Ubiquiti controller. So um, that'll be a separate video here. Let's see here, let's jump back over to our desktop. Not quite done just yet. I'll be there shortly. Uh, it is a little long to uh, do this install. Uh, not terrible, but there we go. Okay, so let's minimize this. Let's minimize our notes here and let's open up our Firefox browser again. I guess you could have left that open before I closed it. And we're going to go to HTTPS, localhost, I could type, <laughs> and we're going to use port 8443. It's going to warn you that there's a potential problem. That's fine. Uh, there's, you know, this is internal. There's no certificate installed at the moment, so that's why it's squawking can go to advance and accept the risk. And we'll give your, let's give our controller a name. So we'll do lab unify. Now we'll do it all lowercase because it's Linux. Accept the end user license agreement. Click next. Uh, if you have a Ubiquiti account, this is where you would sign in. I don't, so we're gonna switch to advance. Uh, I do not enable remote access, and I don't use the Ubiquiti account for local access. I just create a local admin. So we'll do lab admin, give it a password. And uh, we'll just give it a lab admin at lab.lan email address, because we don't, it doesn't, not, not too worried about that right now. So click next. Uh, you don't have to save that. I will leave these. Uh, checked off. Go ahead and click next. And this is where you would start to join devices if you had some present. We don't at this point in time. So we're going to skip that and go to next. And again, we'll create a uh, wireless setup or wireless SSID later on. So I'm going to skip this for now. Um, this is just a review. If this is this looks good, you can click finish. And now you have fully uh, deployed the Unify, Ubiquiti Unify controller on your Ubuntu VM. One last piece here. Uh, I don't typically send analytics to anybody. Um, I just, it's just my personal preference. So you can go ahead and click don't send or send if that's your thing. Um, I, like I said, I typically don't. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please uh, click that like button below. Leave me a comment if there's something you want to know. Um, and consider subscribing to the channel. I appreciate your watching and I appreciate the support. Um, you know, stay tuned. I have more IT videos coming. I've got a Cisco ASA 5515 somewhere back here uh, that we'll be doing some videos on shortly. And I've got more videos coming on the Cisco 2960 switch. So I have more stuff planned. Um, I did just pick up a or build a new edit machine that you're watching this on and I've got a new 4K camera and everything. So hopefully the video quality gets better. That's my plan. I've spent a lot of time planning out these videos lately. So I'm hoping, uh, hoping they get better as I go on and I get some more practice with this. So if you like it, please consider subscribing and hitting that uh, thumbs up button. If you like the video, share it with your family and friends, Facebook, etc. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.